This is Brainfarm.easy coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be bringing you more information about WordPress since this is another one of our WordPress series. We're going to be showing you how to help protect yourself against spam by specifically setting up what's called CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA you've probably seen on many other sites when you've either been logging in or trying to update comments, make changes to your posts, or just generally enter anything into a form. CAPTCHA is a bunch of information that can come in the form of either repeating down a bunch of information already showed, such as writing down some numbers that are swirled or distorted. You may also find this in the form of some mathematical questions, like it'll have words and numbers and ask you to provide the answer for them. So these are all ways you can help prevent spam to the site. Now the biggest thing this is targeting is what's called a bot. A bot is someone's computer made program that tries to go through and continuously do something on its own without any actual human interaction. The purpose of CAPTCHA is to make sure that there is an actual human putting it in. So if someone was still making a bunch of spam comments, they're not going to come very quickly and there's going to be very few of them, but they're going to be frustrated very quickly with the CAPTCHA and probably move on to an easier target, which is again the whole purpose of the CAPTCHA is to help protect your site. So we're going to be showing you how to install this plugin and then kind of what it looks like as well once it's been added to a section. So we're going to start off here. If we've got our demo site, there's nothing else set up for it. And we're going to be going into the dashboard. From the dashboard here, we're going to be going to plugins. And we're going to be going to add new. And here we're just going to type in the word CAPTCHA. We're going to search through the plugin list. You can see it's number one here. We're going to be installing this. We're going to click OK and a little warning message that comes up. And once we've got that up here, we're going to activate the plugin like usual. Otherwise, it's not going to take effect. And there we go, it's been activated. So you can even go into the settings here if you need to for the CAPTCHA afterwards. And you can see by default, it's going to apply it to everything. So we're just going to leave it on here, everything. That's not a problem. Contact form, we don't need to worry about because we don't have the contact form enabled. But what this will do is this will add it to the login forms. It'll add it to the registration forms. It'll add it to whenever you reset a password, basically anything it shows here. So comments as well. And then you can also have the option of hiding CAPTCHA from registered users. This means when someone's logged into the account, they don't need to worry about CAPTCHA anymore because you know they're an authorized person. And you can go after them other ways because you do have their account information. So you can always suspend them if you need to. So you can go ahead and add title or a title to the caption form, or you can add in required systems or anything. We're going to leave this pretty much the way it is. We're going to not change any of this and leave it fairly default to where it should be. And then I'm just going to click on where it says Save Changes to make sure everything's done. It'll say Setting Saved. If you didn't make any changes, you can just leave it with the default settings. That's OK. Not a problem. So what this will look like once we've got it set up, which we do now, is it should take effect on all the pages. So if we reload our default page here, we can now go down to the comments. And we can go to where it says here, this is a test comment. And go to Post. We can see it posted in here. Alrighty. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going into our posts here. And, and what we're going to be doing is now you can see here the first page came in. And we can see that we left it here. Now it's setting as .easy admin now. Many of you may wonder why you didn't see it come up already with the CAPTCHA. And this is, again, because we had it set, if you remember the settings, so that it's hidden from registered users. So we're still logged into WordPress. So the first thing we need to do is we need to log out. So now you can see right away here, there's a question at the bottom. This is an example of CAPTCHA. Now if we go, of course, to the .easy page again, we can see CAPTCHA has now been added to the comment form. So this way, your registered users will not see it along with you yourself because you're logged in. But anyone else who's not registered will be forced to see it. If you have it unchecked so that everyone sees it, then including registered users will also see it. So if I want to go ahead and say I'm going to try and sign, actually, let's not do a failed sign in. We'll just go to here and we'll do name. This will be dot easy. We'll do d staff at dot easy dot com just as a test account. And then the website is .easy.com. So 5 minus and then 5 equals 0. And this is also a test comment. We're going to post a comment here. And we can see it's now allowed it to go through and do. So if I leave everything here, but I don't answer this, and I just put in this, it's going to come up when I try and post it and say, please fill in the form, because the actual 
captcha was not entered. So you do need to make sure you enter captcha anyone doing this. It's a helpful way of making sure that someone is actually filling the form the way they want to and nobody's using any bots. Same can be said if the .dc login or sorry, the WordPress login page for your .dc account is this now also has it. So it won't actually let me log in here unless I type in the information properly. And then I have to answer this as well. And then log in and there we go. So by this way, you can very easily help prevent any kind of spam comments and block them from the site. You can also go through yourself and make sure to secure the other areas of the site, just like you did for the login page. So it does add added security all around, not just to the comments itself. But it's a very quick and easy plugin way to install and set up on the site to help protect yourself. Now, you can make sure to, if you have any questions about this, you can certainly contact our support. You can also leave comments if you have any questions as well. If you'd like to see any other videos or anything else you feel you need to have covered or you need help with, definitely let us know and we'll be more than happy to help you. You can leave comments, you can contact us on Twitter or on Facebook, and we'll be happy to follow them up with you and we'll try and make videos if we can. As always, you can make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. We'll be more than happy to provide you with more information, more videos as they come available, and you can always contact us there as well if you have any support questions. Thank you for watching as always.